In this video, we are going to be entering the most commonly used federal form uh, of all time. And that federal form is Form W-2. So we've already learned how to navigate through the platform and the different ways to get there. So I'm just going to use my personal favorite, which again is the form finder. I'm going to go into the W-2 and there it is. So the, the form will take whatever shape your screen kind of is laid out in. Um, I moved mine a little smaller just to uh, try to fit everything in in a more concise view with less white space. But now it makes things look a little bit different. But anyway, we'll, we'll continue on. So first thing you're going to do is put in your EIN. And if you had that EIN or that employer's information previously entered into your database, wham, bam, there it is. It will populate based off of that entry. I'm then going to jump down to wages and enter in our wages. As you can see, the Social Security wages automatically calc, taxes withheld automatically calc, Medicare, Medicare wages very very cool if you needed to go in there and change those items you can do so based off of the w-2 so if you want to make it look exactly which it should you can go in there and modify that accordingly you jump down the page and it's got all your standard w-2 information in there so just you're basically matching that if you had uh, elected deferrals qualified deferrals for 401k or whatnot go ahead and pop that information in there and you're good to go. We'll continue on down. This is where you'd put your state information. So we can move on down to the state information here and just go ahead and if we had to, but there's not really a Florida state tax return. So um, we'll just leave that blank for the time being. We'll come back and, and handle a state return. Oh, if you did have additional codes to enter in here, you can click add another row and uh, pop that in. I think what is J paid sick pay or something like that. It's not important. All right. So once we've got that in there, we would then just click continue. If you screwed something up or left something out, it would then let you know if you need to go back in and modify that, you can just click on the pencil here and go back in and make changes. Or you can jump in and add another W2. And I'm going to use the same EIN because that's the only one I know that's in the system. And I like 1040 Corp. They seem like pretty cool guys. And uh, everything calcs out. And that's all we're going to say is in this one. Oops. Yes, I want to save this W-2. It was saying, hey, you already have a W-2 for these guys. Do you want to, uh, are you having a problem? Are you making an error? We'll say no. I'm doing it just fine leave me alone so program again you're gonna it's gonna catch things for you there you go your refund calculates and that is how you enter in a w-2 the way that I got there again was just coming up here to the form search typing in w-2 um, you can get there a multitude of other ways um, again enter myself edit and edit and the reason it's changed to an edit is because um, I've already been in there as opposed to not having been there so that's another just kind of indicator as far as where you've been versus uh, where you haven't. Hopefully this was helpful. How we enter into W2, rock and roll. Thanks, guys.